What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Isabella Terra Tarot, back at it again. I'm going to hit you with your daily message. Thank you so much for all the likes, shares, subscribes, love donations, you guys. I appreciate you so much. Um, definitely go ahead and check out my Etsy spiritual shop. All that information will be listed in the description box below. I'm not currently accepting any more personals, but you could definitely go over there and, you know, check that out. All right, so the message for, that I'm getting for the Gemini today... The main card was hope is the conduit for miracles. All right. I feel like this message is going to be <laughs> a little deep. All right. So, I've also got good luck that came out. Black cat. All right. So, most people don't really see, like, I say most people. People... I feel like people usually think that the black cat is like bad luck. When you see bad cat, bad luck is about to come your way. It's not. It's completely the opposite. So I feel like something that's actually going on right now for you, like there's some kind of situation going on right now for you that feels like it's, there's no way out or it, it looks like it, it appears, something about on the surface, it appearing to not look like something's going to go in your favor or not not it doesn't look like a good thing i feel like you're actually about to receive favor or good luck in a certain endeavor um i just get that you are possibly in this energy of feeling like everything is like falling apart or things aren't going the way that you thought that they were going to like and spirits calling you to trust and have faith in a certain situation we got trust um i feel like your emotions might be all over the place and you're having to rebalance restructure in this time um i feel like with that hope is the conduit for miracles i feel like there's actually a miracle that is about to happen for you um and i feel like i heard the tables are turning okay but i feel like there was something that had to take place in order for a healing to take place within you I feel like you are being called to slow down, sit, and watch, and wait. Because I do get there's something manifesting behind the scenes. I feel like you might have possibly, you might have done some kind of, you know, manifestation, spell work, whatever, what have you. And it's like it's appearing on the surface to look like it's not going in your favor. But spirit's saying, are you doubting me? Okay, um, we've also got be at home and the abundant universe will provide. And I feel like the blessing that's coming through is about to be something substantial. Okay, I really feel like it's going to be something that's going to, like I'm feeling barriers breaking down. All right, but I really just feel like you're being called to be still in this time. It's like I feel like you're so used to moving, keeping things going, having to keep the order or stay on top of shit to where it might possibly be taking a toll on you mentally and emotionally. Okay, I feel like spirits doing this in order to slow you down and to get you to think more so before you act. Okay, but things are happening behind the scenes in order for you to get the outcome that you were hoping for. Um, I really just feel like spirit's calling you to ground yourself because, you know, Gemini is not really an earthy sign, but I'm getting earthy animals. Uh, I say earthy animals. <laughs> I didn't get any water animals, amphibians, no, like not, nothing, nothing else like I, I'm getting that no no air in any of this. Like I'm feeling like wombat spirit and buffalo spirit is hardcore saying it's time to ground yourself. It's time to bring yourself out of the mind state because I, I feel like you've been in the mind state too long. Um, spirit's definitely calling you to bring your energy back down to earth because I feel like there's something that you're holding on to that's going to end up causing you more mental strife for holding on to 
okay? I get there is something that you don't want to let go in this time, but Spirit wants you to know that you are, um, you're not alone in this situation. I definitely feel the energy of reconciliation here with healing, what's not seen as healing. There is a healing that is going to take place. I feel like um, I'm seeing two people come back together after a really hard time and like learning to work together in order, like teamwork makes the dream work is what I heard. So for some of you, I feel like things are definitely changing in regards to how you deal with a certain individual. Dynamics here are definitely shifting, okay? Energies are fluctuating in this time. I get that it doesn't look like it's doing what you wanted it to do, but I feel like you're going to get the outcome that you wanted. But I feel like there's something being brought to the surface in regards to partnerships, like... Something is having to be healed in regards to a partnership for you to be able to move forward in a certain situation. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like you you are not. <laughs> We've got three of pentacles, contracts, agreements, seven of cups, and two of two of swords. But underneath it, we've got victory. All right, so I feel like I don't want to go get that one that fell. I hate when that shit happens because I'm not bending over right now. King of Cups again. Let's see. Okay. I'm not picking it up, but it's King of Cups. So, I feel like you're having to, like, that something's going on that's causing you to heal emotionally from a situation that happened in the past where I feel like you weren't seeing um, everything that was going on behind the scenes. I feel like you might have possibly been holding on to some illusions from the past in in regards to possibly third party situations but I feel like you're coming out of that I feel like something is definitely happening for you like I'm seeing like that ladder is what I got drawn to in this picture in the present like I feel like you are finding a way out of a turbulent time I feel like spirit is just saying it's time to take take your time feel your feelings assess them and move out of it because there is some kind of elevation that's happening for you in this time. Um, you're not seeing it right now. You're not seeing it. Um, I feel like, once again, I'm seeing a lot of earth here as well. Um, you're having to really stay focused as well and make sure you're picking the right way to go about like the right the right way to move i feel like you're having to slow down spirit saying slow down um before you make any kind of moves because i feel like if you move right now if you make any kind of you know hasty decision you're gonna regret it okay spirit saying go with the flow in regards to the situation um if you do not go with the flow you're gonna end up um shooting yourself in the foot for the most part okay um they're calling you to have faith ground your energy and focus on healing what it is that hurts you okay um but i want to see what's going on what's the reconciliation who's reconciling look i got another look three of cups came out <laughs> reconciliation once again seven of pentacles over seven of cups and the emperor okay Definitely something in regards to a home situation or living situation. This is definitely tied to the home. Um, yeah, I feel like you're just not seeing the full picture right now. I feel like you might have gotten some news or some information that made you feel unsteady or feel like this isn't what I expect. This is not what was supposed to happen. You know, it's like I feel like you were so sure that something was supposed to go a certain way, but it's like it is. It's, it's really going the way that you wanted it to, but you just don't get to pick how it unfolds, if that makes any sense. That's really what I'm getting. It's like you don't get to pick the way that the game goes, okay? <laughs> we out here playing The Sims is what I saw. I'm seeing, I'm seeing The Sims game and, you know, the house catching on fire and the, and the little person just standing there like, come on, Um I feel like you're being called to get smart in regards to how you're responding to things that don't seem to be going your way. Don't stand there and panic, think, and act. Like all, all, all homegirl had to do 
was like walk out the door or grab, you know, put it out, you know. But she's standing there just like freaking out. All right. So I feel like there was there was something that ha there is there either was something. Let's see, was something that's happening or is something that's happening currently that's making you feel like panicking, panicking and acting. Um, you're wanting to act I, now. The tower I, like I, I knew I was seeing the tower but I feel like there's something that is happening and happening fast in regards to partnerships agreements contracts and I feel like a reconciliation is something that's going to have to happen in order for you to get to the full result I feel like you're being called to really focus on your emotions in this time and assessing your feelings and being able to release because you see she's got her hands open releasing and allowing whatever is going to happen to happen okay releasing the need to control a certain situation i feel like it's almost become like a toxic thing like the way that i'm looking at the emperor like the emperor sitting here with his chest piece and then i'm also being drawn to the alcohol and like substance abuse underneath the situation okay um i feel like there are toxic habits that are also being released in this time, toxic patterns, toxic ways of thinking, toxic ways of being. Like, I feel like somebody here um, definitely stresses out to the point where they end up self-harming. Like, there's something about self-harm here that's being healed in this time. If you were dealing with someone who had addiction issues, I do see them overcoming these addiction issues. Um, I feel like they're actually currently working on this right now is getting out of this trapped energy or feeling like that's the only way that they can overcome a certain situation. Okay. I'm trying to get away from all these court messages, but shit. Okay. Some of you, there is going to be some kind of expense that is either brought on by um, a court-related situation, legal documents, legal paperwork. You could possibly have a ticket you have to pay in this time. Um, but I feel like there's something going on to where you're having to spend more money than you were hoping to spend on a certain product or there, there's something going on where you're having to come out of pocket a little bit more than you had originally um, agreed on or originally had thought and I feel like you're having to get smart on how you're um, saving your money I feel like you're really starting to um, I feel like some of you had a toxic spending addiction possibly Amazon um, or just you know I feel like you're really starting to realize you've got to get smarter with the way that you spend. I feel like some of you were spending frivol frivolously and are really starting to see that you've got to hold on to some money in this time. I feel like you might have overspent um, on certain things for emotional reasons. Look, some of y'all didn't have a toxic tie to alcohol. Y'all had a toxic tie to spending. And I feel like you're having to really rein that shit in because I feel like you're looking and like almost like, where the fuck the money go? Like, <laughs> you're realizing you spend in a way that is... It's almost like an addiction. I feel like I'm, ta I'm talking to somebody who has a spending addiction. Okay? Um, I feel like you're having to rein that in in this time because there is some kind of expense that is popping up or you might not have saved up enough money or had enough money sitting um, to pay a certain obligation. I heard legal obligation or obligation period. Um, I feel like you're having to reassess, reevaluate, um, once again, sit still. But I feel like, yeah, for some of you, that is some kind of... Um, Look, that phantom bag up there like, shit, I shouldn't have spent that. So I feel like in this time, but definitely be mindful of your spending. Um, overspending in this time is really going to fuck you over. All right? I feel like you really need to focus um, because there's something about contracts or legal agreements or legal <laughs> contracts, contractual situation that's coming up that's going to come up really fast, that's going to call for you to have some money sitting. And I feel like you want to make sure, you know, you've got it to spend. 
all right but i definitely feel like look the sun strength i feel like that look this could be in regards to a child like some kind of expense like popping up out of the blue in, re in regards to a child or in regards to a contract period um i feel like if you don't slow your roll or slow your spending you're really going to end up um really regretting it and being in a lower vibe frequency and having a harder time to get out of it because of not having what it is that you need in that time so i feel like spirit saying uh hold on to your money in this time because there is going to be some kind of random expense that pops up out of nowhere that you're going to have to come through and pay you know you gotta be in a you gotta be responsible with this shit all right We've got parents. The divine truth is that your parents eternally love you to the best of their ability. The angels are helping you heal from any pain associated with your mother or father. And underneath it, what's not seen is power animal. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with the situation. Reconciliation was hardcore in this message today. So I feel like for some of you, you're possibly estranged from a parent or familial um, relationship that... They might as well be as tight with you to feel like a parent or were. I feel like there's something that is being healed in this time. For some of you, I feel like this, like there is conversations with the throat chakra. There is conversations that is going to take place in regards to this situation. I definitely feel someone reaching out because they feel like there's nowhere to go but up. Um, I feel like someone feels... Like, somebody is really in their head about what's gone on, what's gone down, and they're wanting to come in and talk about a situation because they feel locked out of your life, and they really want to come back in because they do truly love you. Um, they want you to know that you are not alone in the situation, that you have the help that you need in order to overcome this situation, and I feel like your um, guides are really pushing you to... Um, come into a state of possibly forgiveness for a certain situation. Look, you can forgive, but do not forget. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget. You can forgive, but do not forget. Um, I feel like your spirit guides are really pushing you in this time to hear the message of let bygones be bygones. That's what I heard. Um, your parents are human. All right. But I definitely feel like there's a lot of water here as well as far as like you may be dealing with someone who's a very emotional. Um, I feel like they're wanting to move out of this turmoil with you. They're wanting to squash the beef. I feel like there's going to be some kind of messages coming in. They may text you, call you. You may hear from someone else through like a third party um, bring you some information in regards to this person. But I feel like there is, and if it's not your parents, this could be, you know, a co-parenting situation, you know. This is a general read. So, um, I feel like there is going to be a water sign or someone with that heavy in their chart or someone who's just very emotional reach out to you and want to, you know, they're praying for a miracle in this situation because they really miss you and they want to, you know, squash a beef. Anyway, so that's the message that I've got for you. Um, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.